Good day, guys. It's a big day for the phaser project. Let's get down to the shop and see what's going on. Hey guys, this is Ben from the future. Um, I have some clips of me installing the engine and stuff that uh, was from like a week ago. So I'm just gonna throw that in right here so you can see how that happened and then we'll get back to uh, the more exciting part that's happening right now. There it is. First time the phaser has been installed on this Kolb. And it is a perfect fit. I was a little nervous about my homemade uh, motor mount and everything lining up. But man, I built this little contraption here that slips in the, uh, the prop shaft so I could uh, check the thrust angle there. I don't know if you can see that. They hold the camera up above my head, but uh, I just matched exactly how the Rotex 503 was on there and uh, nailed it. So all that should be good. I got to buy some different hardware for the mount because they're a little long. But uh, man, I'm excited now. It is on the plane. A lot of work left to do, but uh, heck yeah, that's a big step. So let's keep on trucking. Okay guys, it's been a few days since uh, those earlier clips you've seen. So. Here is where the project stands now. Obviously the engine's installed. I have everything connected. Um, obviously the battery and the wiring is just kind of dangling right now. I was just trying to get it running so I can kind of see what I need to do and um, work out any kinks before I finalize all that. But check this out. Is cool I'm super excited to be at this point and my plan for today is I'm going to uh, bring this thing outside I'm gonna put the prop on it uh, because as you guys know I don't have a clutch in this gearbox it's just a rubber donut thing so it's direct drive and I want to determine if this thing idles without the clutch um, and then I can decide, you know, if I need to order a clutch and see what's going on. I prefer not to have a clutch personally, uh, just because I've flown with and without them. And my personal preference, the way they fly. I know they idle and start up easier with a clutch, but I like the way they fly without one uh, for the kind of flying I like to do. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to put the prop on, get it outside, unfold it, and um, we'll start it up for the first time with the propeller. And, um, you know, I'm going to... Just bungee up this stuff so nothing falls, and you know, we're not going flying today. We're just going to get it out in the yard and see what happens. So I'm going to do that, and we'll get back with you. Um, real quick, I just thought I'd uh, talk about a few more things before we put the prop on. Let me show you. Um, there was a couple issues I had uh, with the engine. When I first got it on here and started it for the first time, I had all kinds of, uh, you know, errors blinking on the screen and it was throwing like all kinds of codes. So it took me a good part of a day to figure all those out. Um, obviously this isn't the sled, so it's missing some stuff that it normally would have. Uh, the major thing I ran into is this green light. Let's see if it will light up here. This green light on the dash there that shows it's in drive and the transmission for the sled. Um, obviously there's not that existing anymore in the airplane setup so 
I had to bypass that and I figured that out by studying the wiring di diagram because the problem I was having is that green light was flashing and uh, that indicates that it wasn't in gear and it wasn't letting the engine rev up over three grand. Um, I think that might be part of, part of the, the Taurus system, the throttle override system that Yamaha incorporates. Uh, there's an easy way to bypass the Taurus system, uh, which we can talk about later. And also, um, so the gear, the gear thing blinking, uh, from studying the wiring diagram, all I had to do was ground out uh, a certain wire um, on the connector for the transmission where it plugs in, where it goes from forward to reverse on the sled. And I figured that out. So basically all I had to do is ground a wire and then boom, problem solved. And the rest of the stuff had to do with the codes I had were uh, the hand warmers. It was blinking, I think, 81 and 83, which is the thumb warmer and hand warmers. So basically what I had to do is plug in um, the hand warmers from the sled. I still had the handlebars and stuff uh, and turn everything off. Like I started it up, connected everything temporarily to uh, this bundle of wires back here and was able to go through the menu on the, the panel and turn off the thumb warmers and hand warmers so now it's not trying to send power to that and nothing's there so that took care of those codes uh everything else seems to be pretty good so all right let's uh let's get the the prop let's get let's get this thing outside and get the prop on and start it up All right guys, well I got it all set up and uh, the prop clearance is good. It's exactly how the, uh, the 503 was, no worries there, everything was good. And tried to start it. It does start, but um, it doesn't want to come off idle. Uh, it seems like it is gonna need a clutch. Uh, I did get it to rev up a few times and once it was over like 2500, it was completely fine. Um, but with the prop on it, it wants to try the idle at like 1100 and it just kind of stumbles around. Um, so it, it's, it's, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to have to put a clutch on it, unfortunately, and um, figure that out. So that's where we stand, but it, it is running. Uh, that's a minor thing to change. And I think uh, we're looking pretty good for test flying this thing soon. Everything else seems to be pretty good. I got to finalize a bunch of the stuff on it. And um, I don't know, we're making progress. So mission accomplished. We figured out if we needed a clutch or not today. And um, we're gonna keep, uh, keep working on it. And I'll, hopefully the next video I'll have a clutch in it and maybe do some test flying. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, also, um, I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I've been busy working on these projects because uh, I've been working on another project too that you might remember. The old trailer project. So I've been skinning this thing and uh, I'm probably going to make, after this video, make the video about this um, being completed. Oh, let me squeeze through here and a little sneak preview of what's going on. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to finish that up now and make a video about that before winter hits here in Michigan. And we'll be able to use that to hopefully move these planes around and go fly in some cool places that we can't just fly to. 
So uh, subscribe, and I'll have another video out soon. Thanks.